Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to A Blast of the Past from History Channel. Then sit back and relax and enjoy the show. The Oreo. Milk's favorite cookie, America's favorite cookie, everyone loves the Oreo. So let's take a look back into the history of the world's most beloved sandwich cookie. The first Oreo was sold on March 6th, 1912 by Nabisco or the National Biscuit Company. Nabisco, or the National Biscuit Company, is the company that created the Oreo. After acquiring 40 different bakeries, William Moore, Adolphus Green, and John G. Zeller merged to create the National Biscuit Company. Today, Oreo has all different types of varieties and flavors to choose from, so anyone can love Oreos, no matter what type of food they're into. I hope this was a treat for you. I'm just looking to bake your day a little better. And I know you're thinking, Ori, no more puns. But here's a fresh batch of history coming up from the 1910s. World War One. World War One was one of the costliest wars of all time, racking in damages of about $32 billion. At the beginning of World War I, about 65 million troops went off to fight. At the end of the war, 8 million had died. One in every eight soldiers who fought in World War I had died. This is how devastating this war truly was. Now that you know the devastating effects of World War I, we're going to take a look inside how it started and how it ended. Tensions between the countries in Europe had been building up for years, but then finally... Austria-Hungary snapped when their prince, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, was assassinated by Serbian radical Gavrilo Princip. This caused World War I, or was the spark where it all began. World War I officially ended when Germany signed the Treaty of Versailles and surrendered. Rebuilding would take years, and with another world war on the way, things did not look good for Europe. They started their rebuilding process slow but steady. So, I think that's going to about wrap it up for this feature. Get ready for more Blast of the Past 1910s edition coming up next on History Channel. ever wanted to travel abroad on a first-class ocean liner? Well, now you can. Have you always dreamed of sailing upon the open sea? Well, grab a ticket today, fifteen to four thousand dollars. Don't delay. I'm Giorgio Tukalos, and welcome back to History Channel. For our third feature today, we'll be looking into the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. 150 women and girls were killed in the fire. The reason so many people died is because the safety features back then were very cheap and not very well thought out. In fact, many of the products inside the shirtwaist building were hazards waiting to happen. But not everything that came out of the fire was bad. It forced factory owners to make safer features in the building and make the entrances and exits more easily accessible. The shirtwaist factory fire was terrible, but out of it came laws that helped keep our workers safe. Coming up next is This Day in History. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to This Day in History. On this day in history, 113 years ago, Babe Ruth hit his first home run. Babe Ruth hit his first home run in a 4-3-13 inning loss to the Yankees at the Polo Grounds in New York. Hope you enjoyed today's special feature, This Day in History. Come back every week for a new special feature. And now, a special message from the AGC, the Armenian Genocide Fund. For just 50 cents a day, you can save a child like this, orphaned to the Armenian Genocide. So donate to your local AGC fund today and change an Armenian life. Thank you. And now, a message from the United Nations. The recent Spanish influenza has been spreading around the world and has already killed 10 million people. So please, be mindful of where you cough and sneeze and don't spit. To avoid getting the virus, stay away from public places and stay inside. Medical professionals agree, or at least they did until they were infected and died. So please stop the spreading and be sanitary, hygienic, and stay inside. This has been a message from the United Nations. Thank you and stop the spread of the Spanish influenza. This just in, the Panama Canal was opened and created a new pathway from Atlantic to Pacific. The first ship to pass through the Panama Canal was the SS Ancon. It marked the opening of the Panama Canal and changed history forever. And that's the scoop for today's breaking news. To wrap up today's feature on History Channel, we're going to be taking a look back at the Ford assembly line and when it was introduced. In December 1913, Henry Ford unveiled his first moving assembly line. As machinery became more advanced, Henry Ford created a fully automated assembly line that could work faster than the fastest human worker. And this all started with one man in a dream that one day everyone would have an automobile. I hope you enjoyed our History Channel Blast of the Past. Rate 1910 out of 10, and I'll see you in the next one.